recently, since getting my 10th Flaming Division, I've had a lot of people ask me how I managed to get Diamond like pretty frequently when I'm not any good at the game at all. And I thought I might as well just show how I play the game and how it's not related to PvP skill in the slightest. So I'm going to show how I play offensively, defensively, and just game sense in general. If you're having trouble getting gold division or diamond division or whatever division you want, which isn't masters because you won't get masters without cheating or abusing match rating glitch, um, then you can use tactics that I use, which could easily be improved, but they work for me, so they should work for you too. When I play offensively ranked, I usually use Scout. Scout is more or less the best kit in the game in lower ratings and like mid ratings, due to the fact that the speed helps you out a lot and just in general the armor, the weapon, is still very good. This guy is bee hopping. Uh, <laughs> that more or less is what usually happens. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I use Scout due to the fact that the speed and the armor, the sword, well the, well, the weapon, just usually very good for low ratings and catch people that aren't very good at the game off guard using the speed and also comboing is much easier, strafing around them much easier. But it's still very easy to fight against if you know what you're doing, which I'll show later, using armor. You just need to have a good game sense in general, which is the main part of it. You can, if I uh, get my key mod up here, so you can see my CPS, you can see that when I'm fighting people, I don't like get like 15 CPS or anything crazy like that. I just play like normally, casually, like I, no he didn't, okay. And look, I've barely played the game, it's been going for like less than a minute, I've got full diamond armor. This guy's going for me, I'm just get him I'd like back I guess, come on Hypixel. And oh, he's too good at this game, he just water bucketed that. Alright, just kill this guy, he's a bit laggy. And then just go for this guy. Obviously you need some PvP score, you can't just go in there like clicking two CPS and expect to win. But you don't need to be a god at the game. At low ratings anyway, you won't have to try that hard, but Scout basically does well against like any kit at lower rating. You just always want to mine your diamonds, you get good gear, and then you just go to middle and just kill everyone. I mean the main thing you want to do is cleaning, even though people like hate people who clean, but it's, it's basically the only way in this game you're gonna like consistently win games. It's all about game sense, like I said. If someone starts fighting and they're like low health, you, they should expect like someone's gonna try and kill them because it's a competitive game mode. You just want to like Is this guy blacksmith or oh, what? No, he's a scout, but he's like taking ages and he can he can't hit me. Um, nice. <laughs> right, I think I'll show my defensive strats now or an armor. Uh, the beginning of it is still exactly the same, you get all your chests. Um, I just break mine, so if games get to final refill, they can't benefit off of getting the pearls from your chest, but it does suck sometimes when you need pearls yourself and like everyone's broken their chest at spawn, but it's tolerable. If you play well enough, you can win without pearls, but they do help a lot. With um, armor, I usually... If it's at higher ratings, I usually wait until first refill to go aggro. Because first refill gives sharp one, fire two swords, and you also get pearls and healing from it, obviously. But at lower ratings like this, you can just go in, fire, and out gear everyone. Because per every kill, you get an extra level of protection. So you can just farm kills and get more and more stacked per person you kill. Like, this person's gonna have a much harder time killing me now, because I've just killed someone, so I have a proc 2 chestplate, proc 1 boots. And again, mainly you want to be cleaning people if, like, they're fighting, because it's, it's just free kills, free stats, basically. That's all you really want to care about in this. Any mid chest? Yeah. 
You always want to try to memorize where the mid go. I'm still trying to do that for the newer maps, but I'm getting there eventually. I haven't played that much since the update, but any practice matters really. And usually, if you can control middle, I don't know why I threw up my uh, rock free chest plate then. But if you control middle, you will get good gear every single time, basically. Because it's all like percentage based on what you get. If you get all chests, you have a higher chance to get the better items. So you just want to secure middle, basically, when you're playing defensively. For the sake of having quicker games, I'm going to go back to Scout. Uh, because in general, the games are faster, they're more fun. And that's what you really want of it. And at the end of the day, Rank Souls is a game. If you're not having fun playing it, you shouldn't be playing it. Which is why I usually only play it for videos and stuff like that. For different maps, there are always different strats that you can do. Uh, especially on this map. This, at higher ratings, you always want to go on top of the cranes. Because going down the bottom, due to the elevation, there's so much of a higher chance that people will jump down on you, like that guy just did, and get like element of surprise. Getting the element of surprise on someone, or just like jumping out on them is always beneficial because you catch them off guard and you can get free hits and when they're not paying attention or not looking at you. So for example this guy just got a kill he's staying still and I can just tap him off into the void and he's gone with no chance to win. For armorer um, you just have to up gear and just do more damage to them and take less damage which is why I block it a lot when I have a sword or just going armor in general. A lot of people question why I would go or like why I block it so much and they call me the second coming of extra. <laughs> but um it genuinely actually helps a lot. You can get combos easier people. It's like W tapping basically. It, like you can see how it's like it does the same if you're running a block hitting. It just like makes it you combo people a lot easier by resetting your sprint and it also deals more knockback because like on the first hit you always deal more knockback and then after that it gets well it just stays at a lower like percentage I guess. <clears throat> well, I'm not good at explaining but there are more cool videos that explain it but if you block it with W tap you always deal more knockback which I do in Sky Wars a lot. If you check I'll check after this game, but most of my ranked kills are in the void due to the fact that it is so much easier to kill someone in the void. You take a lot less damage if you can get them into the void before uh, you just kill them normally because they'll be able to hit you less if they're just like falling into a hole in the ground. And this guy... Uh, nice. <laughs> If I build up to like where he is, I can put water down. Oh, never mind, he died and I didn't even get kill credit. Nice. <laughs> if you go scout on small maps like this, you always want to get to mid as quick as possible. So sometimes you might want to just ignore the diamonds, especially on a map like Boomerang where you only have three diamonds and there's a chance that the diamonds you mine, especially because I've got this, there is no chance that I'll be able to get any better armor from mining. As it's all like... The maximum you can get is two per block and there's only three of them, so you can't make chest plate or leggings from that. So you just want to get to middle, get easy kills, this guy's lagging so hard, or I'm lagging, I'm not sure. But you just want to get kills and loot rather than mining diamonds and stuff like that. It's just better in the long run. I need to count how many times I say generally and genuinely in this because I've said it so much. I just double bugged with speed bikes and that's not good, but I'll get these. Um, got three quarters and got fire as this guy gonna come, yeah. And just click on him until he either dies or falls into the void, I guess. I lagged back then and that helped quite a bit, so. It's another very easy one. I think now I'm just gonna get to um 1k rating, just edit it into a small montage. Hope that helped and have a nice day I guess. <laughs>